Well, the premiums come down quite a bit. I think uh, now that we know uh, that the next SEC commissioner is going to be David Gensler, uh, I, who uh, spent the last few years at MIT uh, teaching a class about blockchain technology, Bitcoin. I think he understands the technology uh, and he understands the currency itself. Uh, so I think the probability of an ETF uh, has gone up. Uh, we also know that the director of research uh, for crypto in the crypto space at the SEC has been promoted and will be reporting directly uh, to Gensler. Uh, so again, I, I think we have uh, individuals now uh, involved who really understand the space. And uh, I think the likelihood has gone up. What has surprised us, we expected institutional interest to pick up this year, and it certainly has. But the way in which it's picked up has surprised us. Uh, I don't think we ever thought there would be broad-based uh, substitution of Bitcoin for cash on corporate balance sheets. Uh, so we find that very interesting. Uh, if all corporations in the United States were to put, uh, I think it's, yes, 10% of their cash into Bitcoin, that alone would add uh, $200,000 to the Bitcoin price. Uh, now, we obviously do not believe this is going to happen uh, very quickly. Uh, we are, we're talking about maybe the equivalent of $900 billion market cap equivalent for, for Bitcoin. That's, that's less than half the price of uh, you know the apples and Amazons of the world, so you know this has to mature a little bit before broad-based adoption can take place. But we're very reassured uh, that companies like Square and Tesla have chosen to allocate. They're on the right side of change when it comes to innovation, and uh, therefore we think it's wise that they. Uh, uh, diversify some of their cash. And I think the biggest surprise to many uh, Tesla doubters is that it is now in a position where it has that much cash uh, that it is diversifying.